actually not that bad it's not even that sore honestly it's a miracle I got this last night and it feels totally fine hi and welcome to an update let's get situated here and talk about the elephant in the room I went to monarch tattoo Lyle and I who drove up and I had been talking to Jamie King the owner of monarch for a while about how I wanted him to do my tattoo and so um, I went ahead and made the appointment so I went last night and we did it all in one shot hi welcome to another day of a barking dog <laughs> just fixing a couple of things because I changed my lipstick so I had to kind of clean up how's it going it is um let's see what is today today is Sunday and last week I had said that this week had something pretty big going on in it. Well, I am on my way to go get my neck tattooed. This whole area right here. It's been a plan for so long and then finally, I'm just, I'm just pulling the plug on it. I have been so anxious about getting this. I do know that it's not an incredibly painful area to get tattooed, it's more uncomfortable. Luckily, the artist is very Swift. Anyway, I'm taking the camera. I want to record this. I want to document it. So you're coming. he started he's like let's just see how you feel actually the it, the weirdest thing about this tattoo is that it's not the tattoo itself that hurts because this is just all like it's just there's no bone there so this one wasn't it wasn't bad at all i was like i think i can just sit here and finish it today because it's fine the position is what makes you not want to do it anymore because you're upside down and you are at his mercy <laughs> with a needle at your throat like your neck and, and like the position like makes you like all your skin and your eyes you know when you hang upside down for too long it just kind of like wears on that so that's what I felt the most discomfort but it zipped it's crazy how in the, in the realm of tattoos how suddenly time sits still and goes fast at the same time it's a vortex what am I doing it's a vortex it's like all of a sudden you're you can't wait for it to end but it's it's just such an experience that you don't realize how long you've been sitting there like you would think even just an hour going by you'd be like okay i'm ready for this to be over and um before you know it it was like three three and a half four i think it was three and a half maybe even three i don't know that's the thing i had to sit up like twice just to like bend my neck forward and like sit forward on the bench and I peed like 10 times, which is so embarrassing, but I drank a lot of rosé. Don't do that. 
it's bad. I mean, it did make me bleed more, but they say don't drink before getting tattooed. And I usually am not the type to do that. I've gotten both sleeves and every tattoo that I've gotten, aside from the one on my leg recently, I've gotten them sober. So I've not had any alcohol in my system. This was the first time that I said, I'm an adult. This is my throat. I'm scared. I'm having wine. <laughs> And so I drank like two glasses of rosé before we went up there. But anyway, I really like it. I think it looks great. All it's doing though is just making me want to get this whole area filled in. So that's going to hurt really bad. That's my collarbone. <laughs> that's going to be worse than this. But it does. It makes me just want to fill this all in with like different flowers. Um, so yeah. That's the tattoo update. It was not painful. If you are, I, I have a different tolerance for tattoo pain, I think, because I was talking to a gal on Instagram this morning and she's like, I don't know how you did that. I could barely do my arm. And I'm like, I don't know. I think we just like, as people have different pain thresholds when it comes to different things. But I mean, I couldn't get my uterus biopsied. I've done it once and then the second time I cried and had a panic attack and ran out of the doctor's office. That was just like two weeks ago. I would rather get tattooed on my neck for four hours than get my uterus biopsied. <laughs> like that's how much I'm like, hell no, oh, hell no. But this isn't like a big needle and it doesn't go in and pull. It just grazes the top. And I think it was just the perfect fit for this spot. And I just love the story of the Lotus and its reinvention of itself. And as you all know, I'm constantly changing. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions about the tattoo, I can't really think of anything else to mention about it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you like these updates. They're kind of fun. It's nice to sit down and just do a, a little like recap. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever it is. Bye-bye.